The spring real estate market in the greater Toronto area is generally characterized by an increase in activity. I'm talking new listings, sales, showings, and offers. Really, the springtime is what sets the tone for the rest of the year. Looking at this year's spring numbers, are we in for a bit of a dud in 2024? Hey everybody, my name is Rob Marsiglia. Welcome back to the channel. I'm a sales representative with Kelly Williams Referred Urban out here in Durham region. I do something like this every single week, diving into the numbers in greater Toronto area real estate. So if you enjoy that kind of content, please like this video, consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss anything going forward. This week's video, we're gonna dive into showings as an indicator for kind of buyer sentiment and setting the tone for the spring market in 2024. We did see a very hot new listings week the week after Easter, but the showings just were not there to support the activity that we did see. And just so the rest of the video does not come off as disingenuous, I wanna jump into what we have seen in terms of weekend showing activity going back to the beginning of March. That's here at the very left of this chart. The weekends are clearly these big humps each week. Easter weekend is the suppressed value here. And then I've also done a chart up top that actually highlights our Saturday and Sunday showing totals, as well as the number of new listings that hit the market the week leading up to that weekend, if that all makes sense. Then it all shakes down in this number, which would be a kind of showings over the weekend per new listing in that week. And as you can see, this most recent weekend, April 6th and 7th, that's the weekend after our Easter weekend. Yes, we had a ton of new listings at the market. It was actually, like I said, the biggest new listing week from the Sunday to the Saturday after Easter, but only 5.6-ish showings per new listing this weekend, making it the slowest by a good chunk. And, and as you can see, we haven't hit that same pace of kind of showings per new listing that we saw in early March all the way through until now. And the reason I say I don't wanna be disingenuous is because we have to remember that I'm using a Sunday to Saturday week here. So I'm comparing you know, new listings that came out in that Sunday to Saturday to all the showings that happened in that Sunday to Saturday. And the Easter weekend kind of messes with the numbers a little bit. So I just did that little exercise to show you that this past weekend was indeed pretty slow, maybe not as slow as I'm about to show you on these charts though. And here's what I'm talking about. So this is actually going back to the beginning of a year now on a weekly basis, black lines is new listings in a weekly basis, and the red line is showings. Toronto Freehold's a really pretty picture. You can see just how well showings follow the path of new listings as we get more new listings coming in the market. More showings happen in those weeks until this divergence that we saw in this past week where showings continue to decrease for a second straight week and the new listings shot up just like we saw across the rest of the GTA. When you combine those charts, this is how it all shakes out as to our weekly showings per new listing. You can see that we peaked out really in a late January in showings per new listing at 26.36 and we bottomed out this past week, like I said, a little bit Easter assisted here, but we bottomed out at 14.6 showings per new listing. On the condo side, a similar story, you know, showing activity has been pretty steady in the condo market, not as many, uh, ebbs and flows as you saw on the freehold side of things. Not many new listings came to market the week prior to Easter, but that number really shot up the week following Easter. And as a result, you know, we hit our lows for the year again, less than 10 showings per new listing the week after Easter in the Toronto condo market. Moving out into the 905 with the best part of the 905, Durham region. Similar story here, you could see our new listings data. We had a big new listings week in Durham region, the week between, this is a March break and this is our Easter week. So we didn't quite hit a new high in new listings in Durham region, but as you can see, showings had been fairly steady all the way up until uh, this Easter week where they did fall off, leading to our slowest week in terms of showings per new listing, right down there with what we saw over March break as well. Before we get into the final three regions, it is important again to acknowledge that Easter is playing a big part in really dropping off the showing activity number in this most recent week. Like I said, it's a Sunday, Sunday being one of the busier showing days in any given week that was just taken right off the table. I also think that people were looking forward to the rate announcement that we had today. And if you hadn't heard already, the Bank of Canada held that overnight rate at 5%. Now bond yields are doing all sorts of crazy things today too, but we'll see how this announcement affects consumer sentiment, buyer sentiment going forward through the rest of the spring market. I'll do a quick recap on all these charts, not all of them, maybe just one big summary chart though, next week to see if showing activity bounces back a little bit, or if we continue on this trend of just maybe we tapped out on all our buyer demand earlier in the year. On to York region now, the home stretch. You can see that showing activity grew 
pretty consistently, pretty rapidly early in the year, peaked in early March and has been on a steady decline ever since then. Uh, and new listings, the exact opposite, really a slow build, a bit of a tail off into Easter. And then now they set a new high for new listings hitting the market this past week. But just like we're seeing everywhere else, a new low in showings per new listing. Here's what Peel's trends look like. Again, a steady fall off in showing activity since about the middle of March, new high in new listings this past week, and a new low in showings per new listing. And here's Halton Region to wrap things up, a new year-to-date high for weekly new listings, but those showings totals, just like everywhere else, have tailed off really from the middle of March. And here's how things stood last week in a showings per new listing basis. So again, don't put too, too much weight on one data point and it being super low this week. I wouldn't be surprised to see showings per new listing bounce back a little bit. But I think what is important to notice is that as a trend throughout the year, really since January, showings per new listing has been coming down right across the greater Toronto area. So as more inventory comes to market, there aren't as many maybe buyers out there at least ready to act or able to act on that inventory. Uh, so we're seeing that number come off quite a bit. I think this is important to realize as a buyer and as a seller, clearly sellers, you need to realize that maybe showing activity right now isn't what your neighbors are getting earlier on in the year. So just set those expectations realistically. And buyers, there may not be quite as much competition out there this spring market as there has been in previous years. Again, it's all based on one data point at this point in time. We will check again on this next week to see if things do bounce back whatsoever. If you got some value out of this video and you do enjoy these dives into the numbers and trends that I'm seeing, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Like I said, I do something like this every single week for you. Thanks so much for sticking with me right through to the end of another video. Until we do speak again next time, please stay safe and cheers.